Hey everyone, it's Ree. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, go ahead and consider subscribing and become a part of our community. We would love to have you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for your love and support. You know, I don't take that lightly. Today, we're jumping into an H&M haul and I am styling all stripes from their collection. Um, let me tell you, stripes are definitely trending. If you don't have a striped item in your closet, you need to get one. I have a small little teeny tiny shopping addiction, right? Don't worry, I'm not keeping all of the pieces since they were not gifted to me. I will be returning them. I just got them for the try on haul to share with you guys because, you know, some of you guys don't get out into the shops and into the stores. And so I <laughs> bring the store to you. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pieces and how I'm styling them. First up is this navy blue dress thought this was really really a nice piece to have it was just something about the structure of this dress that kind of got me in the store it is navy blue and white cotton material and if you are in the corporate world and need to elevate this piece i've styled it with a blue blazer and um yeah i just i really did like this piece also thought I'd mention my husband encouraged me to keep at least one or two of these pieces for myself and um, the more I think about the haul and the items and how much I love stripes I think I may take him up on that offer and keep um, at least one piece one piece I've got two fingers up <laughs> at least one piece so you guys will have to help me choose in the comments down below which item you think I should add to my own personal wardrobe um, another dress it is a black and white striped dress it's a longer dress um, and um, I really did like this dress as well I liked um, just the style of the sleeves it almost kind of looks like a cuff but it is not and um, I've just paired this with some um, black tall leather boots that have a very comfortable heel so really did like this one as well Next up is a really classic piece. You can't go wrong with just a black knit sweater. I like the fact that this black sweater had more of the black background being the um, dominant and the white stripes being the accent. The majority of stripes that you see are the opposite with the white being the dominant and black lines being the accent. So just a good old classic sweater. I paired it with some black trousers and some pearl earrings. This piece really spoke to my heart when I was in the store. It reminds me of my mom's love for St. John knits. I'm not sure if you're familiar or if you have St. John pieces or is St. John still a thing that's like trending, but their knitwear is impeccable. And when I saw this particular cardigan, I just fell in love with it. I love the gold buttons. Um, one of the things I will tell you is when you're picking out your stripes, always double check to make sure that in the seams, the stripes match up. I just believe that that is a good mark or the mark of good craftsmanship. So you want to make sure that your stripes always line up no matter how inexpensive the piece is. Like H&M pieces are not that expensive and most, for the most part, every piece that I've seen in H&M, they always have the stripes lining up in the seams. So this next piece with the stripes matching in the seams is also a good one. It is just a um, ribbed long sleeve, very cash. I think you can do a lot with this piece in all seasons, in the summer or spring. If it gets a little warm, you can simply just ruche up the sleeves. You can wear this obviously in the winter and fall as well. And um, so I did like this piece as well. This is another good, just kind of basic starter piece. If you're looking to just add something in your closet that's black and white and you're just starting out. Here is another cardigan with the black being the dominant and the white stripe being the accent. You guys, I did really like this one. When I saw it in the store, I didn't think I was gonna necessarily like it, but I like this one. I really do like it. 
Um, just paired this with a simple white ribbed long sleeve shirt and some black trousers. This is a piece that I know I'm definitely keeping, so maybe I need to make that two items that I'm keeping. This one will be staying in my closet. I feel like if you are just starting out with stripes or you don't have stripes or you need to refresh your stripes, this is the piece to have. You can do just so much with this. You can put this on with a blazer. You can pair this with something very casual. This is a piece that is just going to always be a classic striped piece that um, you just can't go wrong with. And last, I fell in love with this one too, guys. Maybe I need to keep three items. You guys have to help me choose. This oversized chunky half zip sweater was, I don't know, it just really, really spoke to me. Maybe it's just me. Do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments down below. I really did like this sweater. Now, one thing that is definitely trending is oversized pretty much everything. The big baggy jeans are back. Big blazers are back. Oversized chunky sweaters with the sleeves appearing to be way too long are trending. I am all here for it. I think the oversized baggy items just serve up a lot of comfort. And you know, when you're in your mid forties and the pooch is pooching or you have some unwanted pounds that you just can't seem to get rid of, oversized items are such a treat to have on. So knowing that this is a part of the fashion trend just really, really makes me happy. You guys will have to let me know if you're into the oversized trend or do you absolutely hate it? Um, that is it for today's haul, you guys. Uh, again, let me know in the comments down below which two items, we're gonna try to keep this to two, like my husband said, which two items you think I should keep. And um, also, if you're interested in any of these pieces, check the description box down below and I'll have links. And also for your reference, I'll put in parentheses the size that I actually wore in the haul. I, for example, am not an extra small, but a lot of pieces from H&M for me are extra smalls. Every single one of my trench coats from H&M are always extra smalls. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping so you can kind of have an idea of what size you may be. And um, I am, what, five, four, and about 100 and maybe 43 pounds, maybe four, I teeter between 143 and 145 um, pounds. So just keep that in mind in terms of, you know, just referencing what you may need or may not need. Yeah, as always guys, Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching today's video haul and uh, make your day beautiful. The choice is yours and I will see you guys real, real soon. Bye guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to Hey everyone, it's Re. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, go ahead and so you guys will have to let me know in the description box. So you guys will have to love me. So you guys will have to help me. Sorry, I had a brain heart. And H&M pieces, in my opinion, run extremely large.